You have to be mad in giving to become made in prosperity. I've been there before. I know what I'm telling you about. As simple as this is, way back, 1986, I was in the service. I was not having a job then. And I went to church. I had 50. I'm trying to recollect how the currency figures goes then. Hmm? I had 50, 50 kobo, 55 kobo, 55. I think I got it right. And what will you advise me to give at offering time? Five now. Abby? What will you advise me to give? He's, he's human, he's natural. And when it was offering time, something told me, give the higher one and keep the smaller one. How will I go home? I don't know. You see, when you are drunk, doubt, in fact, doubt doesn't doubt you. Doubt doesn't move close to you. And while you we were in service, while we were in service, before the service closed, somebody sent to me about 300 kilometers away. 300. So what do you expect? I could chatter a taxi to go home. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. He gave me power to give and I received power to receive. When the spirit takes over your giving activities, you don't suffer. Nineteen ninety eight, when Shiloh, or nineteen ninety eight, nineteen ninety nine, when Shiloh, and it was time to give sacrificially, or before we go, before we went at Rajova, it was time to give sacrifice. And I was trying to save some money for building project. One eighty thousand. Then it was the currency has value. One eighty thousand to commence. He could do some foundation. It was time I said, Lord, this goes. And as soon as service was over, I got a message. Somebody dropped 500,000 naira for me. Hi guys, this is Emeka Anselm and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. I just want to say thank you for always coming back and back again to my channel to watch my content. I really hope that these contents have been a medium of tremendous blessings to you. All right, let's get back to this video and be blessed. Okay. The basic law of life is whatever you sow is what you shall reap. Whatever you sow. And that talks about the volume you sow. The volume. You can expand acreage of harvest by expanding acreage of sowing. You sow one acre, you get one acre harvest. You sow 10 acres, you reap 10 acres harvest. Now, what is the difference between the two? One is very cautious. One acre, very cautious. Let's start from somewhere. 10 acres takes the risk. Daring. Amen. Amen. <laughs> One of the most difficult things people have that they can't do is giving. Giving is hard. Though. Giving is hard. When it comes to giving, you some people put their money in their pocket, it's already safe, but he puts his hand to hold it in his pocket to be sure that it is still there. He's afraid. People are so afraid of money going from them today. They are so afraid. They are so cautious. They want to give. To check the denomination in the pocket. One thing that is difficult to separate from men are his possessions, material possession. And that is where the risk comes in, and only faith, the spirit of faith, can enable you to give beyond what you want to give. The church of Macedonia, the Bible tells us, they gave beyond their ability. How? The Spirit enabled them to do so. 
risky given risky given risky given given beyond what you plan in your mind remember when the spirit comes it overtakes your will the spirit of giving overtakes your decision to give At a point, Jesus was tempted not to die. He went and prayed. When his emotion took over, Father, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will. That is, put my will aside. Let your will. Will comes by the Spirit take over. And therefore Jesus said, I receive the power to lay down. And therefore, I have the power to take it back. John 10, 17, 18. So what the Holy Spirit does is to give you the power beyond your power, beyond your will. According to 2 Corinthians chapter Eight, from verses 1 all the way to 3, 4, 5. Brethren, we do you with the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia. Run down quickly. How that in a great trial of affliction and abundance of their joy and their deep poverty, they abounded unto the liturgies of their liberality. For to their power, I bear record, and beyond their power, the first power is a part of the will. The second power is a part of the spirit. Beyond their power. They were willing themselves. I said earlier, when you are drunk, you suspend your sense and the drink, the, the spirit in the drink takes over your life. That's what the Holy Ghost does. He moves you in such a manner that you are doing things that you too by yourself will not decide to do because that spirit has turned you spiritually mad. And only those who are mad can be made. You have to be mad in giving to become made in prosperity. I've been there before. I know what I'm telling you about. As simple as this is, way back, 1986, I was in the service. I was not having a job then. And I went to church. I had 50, I'm trying to recollect how the currency figures goes then. Hmm? I had 50, 50 kobo, 55 kobo, 55, I think I got it right. And what will you advise me to give at offering time? Five now. Abby, what will you advise me to give? He's, he's human, he's natural. And when it was offering time, something told me, give the higher one and keep the smaller one. How will I go home? I don't know. You see, when you are drunk, doubt, in fact, doubt doesn't doubt you. Doubt doesn't move close to you. And while you were in service, while we were in service, before the service closed, somebody sent to me about 300 kilometers away. 300. So what do you expect? I could chatter a taxi to go home. Yes, Amen. Yes, yes, he gave me power to give and I received power to receive. When the spirit takes over, your giving activities, you don't suffer. Nineteen ninety eight, when Shiloh, or nineteen ninety eight, nineteen ninety nine, when Shiloh, and it was time to give sacrificially. Or before we go, before we went at Rajova, it was time to give sacrifice. And I was trying to save some money for building project. One eighty thousand. Then it was 
the currency will have value. 180,000 to commence. He could do some foundation. It was time I said, Lord, this goes. And as soon as service was over, I got a message. Somebody dropped 500,000 naira for me. You don't wish it. You risk it. <laughs> I mean, you, you see, risk without fear. That's what the Spirit does. Say it loud, amen. amen. Is somebody with me, please? Yes, Are you receiving that Spirit? Yes, Say, I receive that Spirit.